Hi, I'm Marilyn Morrison from the CE program for nursing here at Humber College and we're in the new CE lab and I'm going to be showing you how to program the mannequin for some basic function, functioning to use in class and also for student testing. Um, beside the bed is an iPad, SimPad Plus is what it's called, and on the mannequin leg is called a link box. They are connected through a number of cords. There is also an outlet connecting power from the wall to um, the SimPad Plus and everything needs to be connected well um, before things work. So what you're going to do first of all to start this, so you're going to turn two things on. One is a button on the link box and the other is the button on the top of the SimPad Plus. Okay, turn that on. Daylight's flashing. Okay, and on the link box, the green light is flashing, so we're going to wait a minute. And on the link box, you'll see <coughs> I've got a blue and a green light, which indicates connectivity. And just a short time ago, I heard a cough. That was the mannequin saying it's waking up. So the easiest thing to do is work in manual mode for basic functions. So I'm going to hit manual mode. It's a touch screen. And I'm choosing a healthy individual. At the bottom it says healthy. And the bottom once again I'm going to hit OK. Then I'm going to choose heart or lung or bowel sounds. I'm going to choose lung. And again lung sounds. We like to standardize the volume at 6, so slide that up and hit activate. Now right now it's set for normal, but I'm going to choose uh, different sounds. So for instance if I want to have on um, wheeze, I'm going to slide down to the bottom where it says wheeze, and for beginning class use and for testing I'm going to have both sides the same. I hit the activate button. So with your stethoscope now you're going to be able to hear the wheeze. I didn't bring my stethoscope up to show you but there are underneath the skin places where you can hear, especially over the speakers. So when you're in class teaching, you can take the skin off the first time to show them how to landmark, etc. on the chest, and where the speakers are for the best listening on the mannequin as opposed to on the patient. Okay, so for now I've got the mannequin running on uh, respiratory lung sounds. We're listening to wheeze. How can I change that up? I go back to my SimPad Plus and I press the lungs again. Lung sounds. I'm going to choose this time a strider. So I'm clicking on there and hit activate. And in a moment or two, you'll be hearing strider sounds. Once again, the volume is at six. change the sound. I go back to the lungs. Lung sounds. I'm going to choose coarse crackles and because we're videotaping I'm going to put the volume up just to the, the max on here. So we're now going to change the pattern to coarse crackles. sound once again on the lungs, lung sounds. I'm going to scroll up to normal. Once again this is amplified for video use. Normal breath sounds. Change that again. I go to the lungs. 
sounds. Long sounds. There's wings. enough of wheeze, back to the lungs, long sounds, I'm going to go to strider. Once again, the sound has been amplified for the videotaping, we put it at 10, but you can see there are other things as well, plural friction rub, which you can use for class as well. And all these options are available through lung sounds. When the students have heard a sound or two and they can start listening more acutely, then the setting should go back to six because that's the setting that they get tested on. So that's pretty much how to set up the mannequin to program it to use it in class or for student teaching. Student evaluating. Thank you.